Welcome back to Sketchy Farm, where today we're getting our green thumbs on and making our way to the hothouse. In this sketch, we're going to dig up the dirt on selective estrogen receptor modulators, or SERMs, and aromatase inhibitors used primarily in the prevention and treatment of estrogen receptor positive breast cancer. Makes sense to start with estrogens, right? Well, estrogens are pleiotropic steroids that play a regulatory role in a wide range of physiological processes, from reproduction and sex determination to lipid metabolism. Estrogens are synthesized from precursor androgens by the aromatase enzyme, specifically CYP19A1, which is present in fat, liver, muscle, and breast tissue of postmenopausal individuals. Our aromatic smelling flower represents the aromatase enzyme, converting androgens to estrogen. Remember that aromatase enzyme, as we'll come back to that later in the sketch. Estrogens exert both genomic and non-genomic biological effects through interactions with one of two receptor isoforms, estrogen receptor alpha, ER alpha, or estrogen receptor beta, ER beta. Both receptor isoforms exhibit similar functionality and interact similarly with endogenous estrogens, mainly 17-beta estradiol. Now, not all breast cancers are created equal, though, with various tumor types and a range of different receptors involved. But overwhelmingly, the most common type of breast cancers are hormone receptor-positive breast cancers. These can be purely estrogen receptor-positive, which is most common, progesterone receptor positive, or even a combination of both, with these receptors expressed in both the nucleus and the cytoplasm of the cell. Now, whatever receptor the tumor cell expresses determines which type of sex hormone stimulates tumor cell growth. Cells that express estrogen receptors are stimulated by estrogen, whereas cells that express progesterone receptors are stimulated by progesterone. This stimulation enables tumor-promoting transcriptional regulation of genes involved in cell survival and proliferation. It also stimulates the activation of other non-genomic pathways involving epidermal growth factor, insulin growth factor, and fibroblast growth factor. Hmm, those little purple-blue flowers look a lot like breast cancer cells, right? 